Hey, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at Avalanche, AVAX slash USDT. And yeah, we are in a downtrend right now. Bitcoin is dipping. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks, we are going to find the bottom on Bitcoin and we are going to start our, our uptrend, hopefully. But I'm not a financial advisor, guys. I just want that to be clear. Nothing in this video is financial advice. You should be doing your own research into the projects before you invest in them. I want to give a shout out to the Telegram chat. Make sure to join in. A lot of great projects are being shared there. Low cap gems. A lot of, a lot of important and useful information for newcomers as well. So make sure to check out the Telegram chat. Now, for AVAX, we are on the weekly chart. I've slapped on the Fib retracements on the chart. And this is basically from this top of the impulsive wave to the bottom. And we have actually bottomed out at $9.40 pretty much. And as you can see, we did hold as support the 0 0.786. We have wicked below the 0 0.618, which is the golden ratio. You are going to come back there after an impulsive wave. But over here, as you can see, this big red candle, we just went straight down with really no, uh, with really no retests. We just dropped back down and now we're hitting our head on the 0 0.236 and now we've went back even lower. So what I'm expecting is the 20 EMA to act as strong resistance because it is going it is going in line with the 0 0.236. So I'm going to add a line in there. And that is going to be the 0 0.236. I do apologize about that. So that is going to be our 20 EMA retest, and that is where you might get rejected. That is $17.60. That is an important price. Keep that in mind. And right now, I am going to give you this $7.20 price because this is the top of this impulsive wave on the daily chart. I'm going to show you that right now. So this is where you might land. That is $7.20. If Bitcoin crashes all the way down to 26 k yeah, you could potentially go back there. and really the last sort of resistance or i mean support level that we have is over here at this impulsive wave on the weekly and that would be three dollars and eighty cents so if, if if bitcoin crashes down make sure to have to buy orders at these two prices seven dollars twenty cents and three dollars eighty cents so just have the buy orders a bit higher than the prices i just gave you just so you're safe and just so the price won't bounce off and and just come back up without you know without your orders filling in so keep that in mind and if we remove all the drawings at the moment we can see that we are below the 20 ema but what is happening is over here we're, we're creating a strong level of support over here as you can see so we we, we are testing this 10 11 dollars pretty much as support which is good we're building a foundation we're building a support for us to later land on if we if we end up breaking down in December or, or whenever. So this may be the, the next bottom for AVAX. But, you know, I, I really don't know what I'm, what I'm talking about. I'm just a guy on YouTube who is trying to, trying to do some TA for you guys. Now, if we do check out the relative strength index, we are making continuous higher, lower lows and lower highs, which is an indicator of a downtrend, obviously. On the MACD, we're, we're, just, we're starting... Yeah, we're really overextended on the MACD, so I do expect us to have some sort of a pump towards the upside because AVAX is really getting overextended. And if we take a look at the relative strength index, the stochastic relative strength index, then you can see that on the weekly chart, we haven't even made it to the upside yet. You know what I'm saying? So there is a lot, a, a lot of upside over here. We're just consolidating in this range right now. And that, that, that is just confluence to the fact that we have a lot of upside left for Avalanche. And obviously we do have our target over, let me just remove the fib because we're not gonna need it right now. So we do have our target over here at $110. That is a conservative target in my opinion. That is what we're looking for, the peak of this bull cycle. So keep that in mind and let's jump into the daily chart right now. 
So yeah, now we are on the daily chart. Let me just zoom in a little bit for you. Here we go. So the daily chart I did give you in the previous video, I did give you two buying orders and that was $11.60 and $10.80. So uh, $10.60, I apologize. So pretty much we've almost hit the $10.60 price and we've gone down through $11.60. So if you bought here at $11.60, which I did give you a buy order, but I always say don't buy with your with the entirety of your money you know you have to spread out your order limits you, you have to put at least 15 percent here 15 percent at 1060 15 percent at 940 and and perhaps 30 percent at 720 if we do end up dropping down there but i have i do have this yellow buying zone for you guys between ten dollars sixty cents and nine dollars forty cents that is where that is the range in which the price has been weaking down with the initial drop off but one thing we're looking for on the on the daily right now is this double bottom pattern if we do end up bouncing off this level nine dollars forty cents that means we're creating a w bottom over here or a double bottom however you want to say it on the daily chart which is a bullish continuation believe it or not so if, if we do end up doing that, that is great. But if we do end up going lower, we're creating lower lows, as you can see over here. I do apologize. It is a bit laggy. I do apologize. So, yeah, keep that in mind. If we create a lower low, that just means that we are going um, in, in this downtrend. But if we have this lower low, then what we're looking for is an inverse head and shoulders. Because what can happen next is we come back up from here get rejected off this level, come back lower, but not lower than this low, and then come back up, and that is your head and shoulders pattern. So that is something that I'm looking for, obviously. I don't know if it's going to play out, but I'm just keeping my eye on all possible outcomes. Obviously, I am, I do apologize about that, I am seeing a, a strong drop-off for, for the altcoins, for all the altcoins that we're following on this channel. And it does seem like Bitcoin may actually test 26k before before the, the the rally to the upside. So keep that in mind, guys. I really I really want the market to recover, but you just have to be patient. This is a, a game of patience. So yeah, the 55 EMA is going to act as strong resistance when we when we do start coming back up, and that is 15 dollars and 17 cents, and that is on the on the daily chart. And also the 20 EMA, as you can see, we're just being suppressed by the 20 EMA over here. Just brutally being suppressed and we're just coming back down. And this is a strong downtrend. If we do jump into the relative strength index, we are sitting at 38 on the index. And expect this trend line to be a strong resistance level. If we do go to the stock RSI... On the four hourly chart, we're actually going into some sort of a symmetrical triangle on the stock RSI, but on the daily, we are, I do apologize, that is from the Telegram chat, by, by the way, so we are, we are in some sort of a symmetrical triangle, I'm going to show you that in a bit, but if we do take a look at the MACD, then we are about to form this bearish cross where the moving average is going to cross below the signal line, just giving us more confluence to this downtrend. And more confluence to the fact that we are going to create this double bottom and perhaps bounce off and wick off this $9.40. Now going into the 4 hour chart, I'm just going to show you the stochastic RSI. As you can see, we are being, we, we are going into some sort of a move, but uh, it does seem like we're, we're going to break down and hopefully not not break down lower than nine dollars forty cents on the four hourly on the macd we have made this bearish cross and we're just having this these constant squeezes where the price seems like it wants to go up the macd goes up it gets rejected off the signal line pretty much every single time as you can see over here which is just showing us that there's a lot of selling pressure for avax but it ha it, it is doing better than some of the alts because for example Orion Protocol something that are, we are very bullish on the channel has dropped massively but so have other projects 
we just have to be patient. We just have to be accumulating during the, these, these dips. And obviously on the four hour chart, we are looking for a possibility of a double bottom over here if we do end up landing in this area over here. So that would be a double bottom on the four hourly and on the daily chart. So yeah, I, I gave you a couple of buying orders, guys. Keep those in mind. Just have the buy orders. Don't buy in at one price. That is not the best thing to do. If the price does end up going back here, that means Bitcoin is, is dropping massively. But, you know, I am expecting Bitcoin to test 60, 26K before moving back up. And hopefully we are going to start peaking out in December and January later this year. So. Yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Thanks for all the support. It is really, really very much appreciated. Make sure to check out the Telegram chat, like I said, and I'm going to catch you in the next video. Goodbye and good night.